Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another WWE 2K22 video here for you guys. It's a gameplay, CM Punk and MJF, two creator wrestlers, of course, in this game, obviously, because it's a WWE video game, but this should be a good one. It is a rematch, obviously, from Revolution 2022 between Punk and MJF. Obviously, this game does not have dog collar matches, but it'll just be a straight up singles normal match here between CM Punk and MJF. And of course, CM Punk's got his old entrance from Ring of Honor. Of course, they did use at Revolution just a week ago. I mean, absolute perfection. Absolute perfection. Whoever made this uh, CM Punk model, big shout out to you, man, because it, it's really damn good. He's got the attire from Revolution as well. And also, folks, another announcement. We're starting an AEW Universe mode. AEW Universe mode this Sunday, March 13th. You are not going to want to miss it. And this is basically just a preview to that Universe mode coming out this Sunday night. But there is CM Punk getting ready for his matchup here with Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Of course, he is better than you and you know it. It is MJF. He is salt of the earth and here he is. I, I mean, maybe the best, just the best right now in wrestling. Seriously. All around the best in wrestling. MJF, they gave him the Miz entrance. Oh no. Oh my goodness. He's walking out to the Miz entrance. You can tell by the exact pose the Miz does at the top of the ramp. But there he is, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. At CM Punk is waiting in the ring for him. And honestly, I don't know if I can watch this entire Miz entrance because I, I, I love the Miz. But I mean, come on. What MJF is doing is a lot better than what the Miz is doing right now. And maybe what the Miz has ever done. I mean, maybe with the, ex the exception of that one run SmackDown, when SmackDown Live. But MJF's doing the best work that really any heel's ever done in professional wrestling right now. So, yeah, I, we're ending this damn entrance. Here comes CM Punk! Oh my goodness, off the top rope. There goes CM Punk, and he's gonna rain the kicks now against MJF. But MJF throws a running knee, so... I guess while this is running in the background, I'll explain more about our AEW Universe mode coming this Sunday. Again, I still have to download a lot of the cause from, of course, the community creations, but this CM Punk and this MGF will be used. It might Our roster might not be full for the first AEW Universe episode, just considering, again, there might not be an, I don't know, let me just think of a random wrestler on the AEW roster. I mean, there might not be a Brian Pillman Jr., right? But I think for the most part, we should be able to find enough guys to run a Dynamite, to run Rampage. And the current plan I do have is that we're going to run Dynamite probably on Sundays, and then we'll run like Rampage on maybe like a Thursday or something like that, right? I mean, that is the current plan. We're gonna do something along the lines of that for the AEW Universe mode. It should be a lot of fun because I just can go in there, take control, book what I want to book. We'll pick up right after Revolution as well. So we'll continue some of the storylines that are going on right now in AEW and basically how I'd book AEW, even though, I mean, I really don't got to fix much about that promotion because they do such a good job booking their product already. But still, I guess we'll continue with some of the stories going on right now, like Red Dragon versus the Young Bucks. I guess Adam Cole versus Hangman is still a thing for now. Uh, Wardlow MJF, you know, Scorpio Sky and uh, American Top Team versus Sammy Guevara. Stuff like that. We'll continue those feuds. Um... Going in to the AEW Universe mode again, starting this Sunday. Do not miss it, I'm telling you. It's going to be a whole lot of fun here on the channel. And this is just a sneak peek towards that Universe mode coming out again on Sunday night. Um, and we still have, like, some of the roster um, that is currently in the WWE game will be able to be used in the AEW Universe. I mean, you got Buddy Matthews is in the game already. Keith Lee's already in the game. Jeff Hardy's already in the game. William Regal's already in the game. Shane Swerve Strickland's in the game. I mean, I could be missing someone as well, but, I mean, those guys just off the top of the head are already in at WWE 2K22, and there's some very good community creations out there. I mean, the, the Tommy End or Malachi Black that was made, that's the number one downloaded thing right now in the PlayStation market, or I think actually it's PlayStation and Xbox now, I think they combine it, but the number one thing right now in the community creations is an excellent Malachi Black, and there's a really good Brody King as well. I mean, just right there, you got the House of Black no matter what, because you got Buddy Matthews who's already in the game as well. I mean, there's so many, so many good creators out there when it does come to creator wrestlers. And again, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. The roster might not be perfect to start because you might not find the, I don't know, the best, uh, like, John Silver character. Even though John Silver is actually kind of an easy one to make. He's just a bald dude. He's like 5'8". But still, uh, I mean, there, again, the roster might not be perfect to start, but I think it should be a, a lot of fun, especially starting on Sunday. We don't really need a ton of guys to just run one show. 
and that's the benefit of AEW. They got so many guys in the roster where anyone can really step up and can make an impact on the show. As you saw in this match, though, MJF is busted open just like the dog collar match in real life. Again, we will be limited a little bit to the stipulations that we are able to run, of course, in the AEW universe mode because, again, like this, there is no uh, dog collar match. And some of the stipulations that AEW does run will not be in this game. There will be no blood and guts match, which I'm assuming they're going to bring back eventually. Um, there will be no big move right there, by the way, for MJF. That's the signature. Um, there will be no, what, face the revolution ladder match, even though, I mean, you can just run a six-man ladder match in this game. Um, but again, just a little thing. It's not going to be perfect because it's not an AEW video game, but CM Punk has got MJF up. It's going to be a GTS. Can CM Punk end this match right here? The cover. One, two, and MJF kicks out at two and a half. Huge kick out right there by Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And yeah, if the AEW universe goes well, I mean, hell, I mean, I'm down to run something with WWE. I might even bring in Ring of Honor. We could even run a WWE Invades AEW storyline because obviously this isn't real life and we don't, have got, we don't got to worry about any contract negotiations or anything. So Universe Mode as a whole should be a lot of fun and especially because we don't got to use like everything from every single match. Like, uh, for example, a match like this with CM Punk and MJF, we're going to be running like, what, five matches, six matches a card. I don't got to show every single thing from each match so each episode doesn't have to be like, what, an hour and a half long. We can really cut down on each episode and make it a short but still effective um, episode of AEW Dynamite or Rampage or a pay-per-view, right? And we're not going to run Dark just because I don't think it's needed because not much storyline development happens on AEW Dark. I mean, some does, but usually feuds that are on Dark stay on Dark and likely don't get brought up on regular AEW television with the exception of, I, I can think, what? I mean, uh, Layla Hirsch and Chris Statlander, I think, started on, on Dark, but I mean, for the most part, feuds on Dark stay on Dark and... It's just Rampage, really, with, um, of course, AEW Dynamite as well on Wednesday and Fridays. As MJF's going to duck under right there, Punk's going to go flying to the outside. As MJF does have a finisher stored up right now, of course, it is the Salt of the Earth or the Fujiwara Armbar. But CM Punk right there is going to reverse that move by MJF. Is Punk going to get this one back in the ring? No, he's going to use his signature, which is a huge head kick right there. We're going to search under the ring for something here with Punk. Only kendo sticks and chairs are available here at Revolution, but... It's not an Extreme Rules match. It's not No Holds Barred. We aren't allowed to use a CM Punk. He's going to dive to the outside. But again, we're not allowed to use weapons in this match. But, I mean, we can't get away with it. Just, just wait a couple seconds real quick. This is a classic move here in the WWE games. There you go. Ran into him. And big super kick for the referee. All right. We're going to run some heel maneuvers now with CM Punk. What is MJF doing? Is he getting the diamond ring? I don't think. Was he? Oh, no. MJF's going to reverse it. He'll get the kendo stick. And now MJF willing to go to work right now on CM Punk, even though MJF's just standing here waiting. And now the referee's getting up. He's going to swing. No, Punk's going to take it off his hands. Oh, the referee saw that. Oh, but he doesn't care. And now he's going to try to grapple us. What are we doing? Yeah, okay, put it down. Uh, we're trying to go after the referee again. I don't think it's going to work, but the referee literally saw CM Punk at the kendo stick um, against the flesh of MJF, but decided, eh, I'm not going to do anything about it. And we're trying to hit the referee. It's just not possible. Instead, we're going to hit a big boot to MJF as Punk has got a finisher. Honestly, all we got to do here is just hit a GTS and we should be able to win. But MJF, again, got a finisher of his own. Trying to go for the Fujiwara armbar. No, Punk reverses it. MJF ducks under a clothesline. Look at MJF going for it now. We'll see what Punk can do here. He's just working the arm again. But that's dangerous. A big part of MJF's moveset is targeting the arm. And now going after the left arm of CM Punk. Punk's now going to get up after assistance from MJF. MJF's going to miss with the punch. CM Punk reverses him. And you know what's next. He's got him up. Time to go to sleep. It's going to be a GTS for CM Punk. He falls into the cover. One, two, three. CM Punk wins. And folks, that will do it for another gameplay video here on WWE 2K22, showcasing two Korean wrestlers here, of course, obviously, from All Elite Wrestling, CM Punk and MJF. But of course, it's just an intro to our brand new universe mode coming to the channel this Sunday, the AEW universe mode. You're not going to want to miss that one, folks. So thank y'all for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Give a thanks for watching. And Mamba, forever.